Okay, this is um, problem number nine from chapter 19. Uh, eight lights are connected in parallel to a 110 volt source. So this is 110 volts, right? And then these leads have a combined resistance of 1.5 ohms. A total resistance is what they say. Two leads with a total resistance of 1.5 ohms. So I think that each one of these is 0.75 ohms is the way I take that. We'll find out if that's right. Um, if 240 milliamps flows through each bulb, and I'm too lazy to draw all the bulbs, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bulbs like, like that, okay? Um, and so there's 0 0.240 amps or 240 milliamps flowing through each of the bulbs, right? And that means we can figure out, right, that the current flowing out of the battery is eight times that, right? So that I know for sure. So 0.24 times 8 is 1.92 amps is definitely flowing out of the battery, right? And then it says, I think our question is, uh, uh, what is the resistance of each bulb? So what is the resistance of these guys, right? And then the question is, what fraction of the total power is wasted in the leads? So power in the leads divided by the total power, right? Okay, so for the light bulbs, I know that the resistance of a light bulb is going to be the voltage across the light bulb divided by the current through the light bulb. Yeah, but why is 110 volts not the voltage across each light bulb? Because there's the 1.5 ohms there, right? Okay, so the question is how much does the voltage drop over the 1.5 ohms? How do you find voltage drop? We've done it. Every, you know, every series circuit we find voltage drops. Current times resistance, right? So the voltage drop is I times R, right? And I think the current is 1.92 amps and the, the resistance is 1.5 ohms total, right? So the voltage drop across this section here is 1.92 amps times 1.5 ohms. And you could do like 0.75 plus 0.75, you get the same thing. So I'm gonna take that and multiply by 1.5 and that is uh, 2.88, right? So if it's 110 and it drops 2.88, what's the voltage across these guys? What's 110 take away 2.88? Yeah, we could figure that out, right? That's like higher math, I can't quite envisage this. 110 minus 2.88, 107.12, so 107.12, and then how much is the current through each, each uh, light bulb? Is it 0.24 through each bulb, right? So that divided by 0.24 is 446.333. Uh, ohms. Is that what, what's the right answer? What do they say for number nine? How do you know if you have the right answer? How do you know you didn't have the right answer if you didn't know what the answer was? What's the right answer for number nine? Chapter 19, number 9, 450 ohms and 2.6% is what they say. 450 ohms is what they give as the answer. 
That's good enough, isn't it? Right. And then how do you get the percentage of power lost? What's the total power being used? That's easy. What's the total power? I would just do I, I would just do 110 volts times the current leaving the battery. That's got to be the total power, right? Yeah. So total power is 110 times 1.92. That's what it's got to be. 211 times 1.92. Indeed it is, 211.2, right? And what is the unit for that? <laughs> okay, then how do you figure out the power lost in these leads when there's 1.5 ohms of resistance total and you've got this current going through it? What's the best way to do it? Well, we could do either way, right? We know the voltage across that is 2.88, so we could go 1.92 times 2.88, right? Or we could do 1.92 squared times 1.5, or any number of things, right? I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose this squared. I'm gonna do I squared R, right? So I'm gonna do uh, 1.92 squared. <laughs> Bless you in a manner appropriate to your cultural and spiritual heritage. 1.92 squared times 1.5 is 5.5 equals 5.5296 watts. And then of course the we can just figure out the ratio. They want the ratio. So 5.5296 over 211.2 is 0 0.02618 repeating, which I guess would be 2.6%, yeah? Which is the answer in the 